Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you how to make a simple LED driver circuit with common components. The input voltage of the circuit is from 12 volts to 30 volts. The setting current for the LED can be changed easily. I have been using it for 2 years and now I share it with you. This is a 10 watt 12 volt LED bulb, mounted on a heatsink and connected to the LED driver. After connecting to the power supply, the LED was on without any problem. The input voltage is 20 volts, if there is no LED driver, the bulb will burn out immediately. The circuit will automatically adjust the output voltage so that, the value of the current passing through the LED bulb, is constant and equal to the value we set. I will explain more about the principle of operation of the circuit, and how to calculate the current through the LED, after the sponsor's promotional video. These are custom 3D printed enclosures from a $1 service from JLCPCB. By 3D printing, your enclosure with JLCPCB, you can create a finished product experience for your hardware. Price as low as 7 cents per G. Step 1, Upload your 3D files. Upload your CAD file online and select materials to get an instant quote, price starts from $1. Step 2, 3D printing it. Our industrial 3D printers and professional operators will produce your prototypes and end-use parts with the highest quality. Step 3, Delivery straight to you. JLCPCB 3D printing service covers a worldwide delivery, we will ship parts to your doors directly from our 3D printing factory. When just power on, transistor VT1 does not work, current will pass through resistor R1, LED, inductor and MOSFET VT2. The resistor value is selected by the formula R1 equals 0.6 volts divided by the current through the LED. Here I want the current through the LED to be 800 milliamperes. with the above formula we choose a resistor of 0.68 ohm. When the LED is on, if the current exceeds the setting level, transistor VT1 will be on, A1 will be on, the voltage of the G MOSFET VT2 will go low, the LED will turn off. Basically, the circuit works like a buck converter with current control at frequency 20 to 70 kHz, so the LED is always safe to operate even if the input voltage is high. When the circuit is working the voltage drop across the resistor will always be 0.6 volts. To ensure that the current through the LED is always stable. This is the printed circuit. You can download it in the description. It includes a PDF file for you to make at home or a Gerber file so you can order printed circuits from JLCPCB. This is the result after one week, box and PCB from JLCPCB. I had a small error in the TL431 design, it was installed in the wrong direction. I have adjusted, the file shared in the description is correct. Sorry for the inconvenience. The circuit uses common components, you can take advantage of it from the old circuit boards or buy from the outsource.net website. This is the official website of Outsource.com. Here you can buy all electronic components, like MOSFET, sensor, transistor diode, DIAC. Most of the components in my video are bought from here, some I reuse from Circuit's old electronics. You just need to type the part name into the search box, you will have the results and the price immediately. Visit the link in this video description. The inductor and TL431 can be leveraged from old computer sources. The output source filter will be rewound to match the circuit.
The size of the core is as above, you can refer to it, a little different size is not a big problem, the circuit will still work fine. We will use enameled copper wire with a diameter of 0.5 mm wound 80 to 100 turns around the core. Inductance is about 450 microhenry to 500 microhenry. I just showed you how to make a lead driver circuit. Thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel. I will see you next time.